We made quite a few changes to the intake, um, the most obvious of which is we changed the angle of which the um, mid uh, carriage of the intake is, and the reason why is if we make a shooting robot, we need the robot to shoot at a 70 degree angle, so we are making a ramp to reach that 70 degree angle. Um, however, since these two bars will be outside the robot, we need them to be parallel with the ground. So things we added was um, the ramp itself, as well as sort of a hinge to change the angle at which the uh, uh, cube comes in. And that's the two big changes that we've made. And now we can, we've also made the change of now we can run four motors at once, which makes it much easier to test these intakes. Anyway, let's do a test. So it still gets caught here, so we need a little more support behind to hold up this ramp. It's obviously very thin. Um, Luxan, so we'll work on that. Try again. And that will be our next step for continuing with this intake. All right, so this is just a wheeled shooter that uh, we decided to create because why not? We, when we were prototyping with the intake, it seemed to shoot it pretty hard, so. If it works, awesome. If not, well, yeah, there's no a, big yeah. loss. I got a little further. Yeah. yeah. That, right. that might actually be feasible. So we need. Here. Let me back try one more time. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there you go now. All right, so this is the second trial of the shooter. We changed the gear for boxes from a 10 to 1 to a 5 to 1, so hopefully it should shoot a little bit faster, a little bit farther. So we'll see how it goes. A little bit of an increase, but minimal. It looks like it could have a four foot, but not the six foot. Okay. Okay. This is our four wheeled shooter prototype. Alright, so this test is to check the intake part, push it back out, so if we want to put one in the uh, vault so we can push it back out. So, well, exchange, exchange, whatever. So, going. Oh. <laughs> That's got some force. That hurts a little bit. Alright, round two, I'm getting out of the way. Power. <laughs> I like that. And you wanted two wheels. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think one wheel. <laughs> got no, I think things. two wheels. I want this, here, tilt it up at an angle. Oh no! <laughs> go, no. Who no, no, no. Go. Fly, boy, fly! <laughs> That's yeah. bottom, and yep. then they don't need to travel. So what this means is, we could do a wheeled shooter. <laughs> we can do a wheeled shooter. Let's we start. Are not shooting. Wheeled <laughs> shooter? Yeah. Did you, Did you that? watch that? Yeah. Do you want to do more? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So for this one, we tried polycord instead of the wheels that we've been doing before to reverse the box out of our um, inner robot area. So we wanted it to go this whole way, but we just prototyped it halfway to see if we could even grip the box. So we're gonna see. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. So that kind of works. <laughs> Ooh, now we're adding the wheels. Ooh, Ooh. see? Extra traction. Ready? 
It's attraction. <laughs> Three, two, one. I don't know if it did anything, but. It's kind of coming out crooked. To the high speed. Why do you think it's coming out crooked? We'll do that again. I bet it's because this one's tensioned better. Because we did a yeah, big jump placing this one. Yeah. So I actually. Can you zip tie tension here? Well, this is the looser one, and it just has to do with where we, like, yeah. unmeasuredly place them. I feel like that's what it is, though. Yeah, it's definitely the belt tension. Okay. Right. Cool. Okay, so this time we added two new wheels on each side, which adds more points of contact, covers more surface area, and seems to be shooting it out straighter, so. Alright, in three, two, one. So, it's a lot straighter than before, which is good. Yeah, <laughs> ready? <laughs> 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 <laughs>